Leadership is not a rank. Leadership is not a position. Leadership is a decision. Leadership is a choice. It has nothing to do with your position in the organization. If you decide to look after the person to the left of you and look after the person to the right of you, you have become a leader. Sometimes you're the problem. We've seen this happen all too recently with our new men of science and uh, studiers. These men of finance who are smarter than the rest of us until the thing comes. And they blamed everything else except themselves. My point is, is take account of those clear actions. You can take all the credit in the world for the things that you do right, as long as you also take responsibility you do wrong. It must be a balanced equation. Don't get it one way and not the other. You get to take credit. Also, take account of the You want to be an elite warrior. It's not about how tough you are. It's not about how smart you are. It's not about how fast you are. If you want to be an elite warrior, you need to get really, really good at helping the person to the left of you and helping the person to the right of you. Because that's how people advance in the world. The world is too dangerous and the world is too difficult for you to think that you can do these things alone. If you find your spark, I commend you. Now, who are you going to ask for help? When are you going to accept help when it's offered? Learn that skill. Learn by practicing and helping each other. It'll be the single most valuable thing you've ever learned in your entire life. To accept help when it's offered and to ask for it when you know that you can. The amazing thing is when you learn to ask for help, you will discover that there are people all around you who always wanted to help you, but they just didn't think you needed it because you kept pretending that you had everything under control. And the minute you say, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm stuck, I'm scared, I don't think I can do this, you will find lots of people who love you, rush in, and take care of you. But that'll only happen if you learn to take care of you first. You will be told your whole life that you to learn to listen. I would say that you need to learn to be the last to speak. I see it in boardrooms every day of the week. Even people who consider themselves good leaders, who may actually be decent leaders, will walk into a room and say, here's the problem, here's what I think, but I'm interested in your opinion, let's go around the room. It's too late. The skill to hold your opinions to yourself until everyone has spoken does two things. One, it gives everybody else the feeling that they have been heard. It gives everyone else the ability to feel that they have contributed. And two, you get the benefit of hearing what everybody else has to think before you let them The skill is really to keep your opinions to yourself. If you agree with somebody, don't nod yes. If you disagree with somebody, don't nod no. Simply sit there, take it all in, and the only thing you're allowed to do is ask questions so that you can understand what they mean and why they have the opinion. And you must understand from where they are speaking, why they have the opinion they have, not just what they are saying. And at the end, you will get your turn. It sounds easy, it's not. Practice being the last to speak. That's what Nelson Mandela did. Remember this. As you gain fame, as you gain fortune, as you gain position and seniority, people will treat you better. They will hold doors open for you. They will get you a cup of tea and coffee without you even asking. They will call you sir and ma'am and they will give you stuff. None of that stuff is meant for you. That stuff is meant for the position you hold. It's meant for the level that you have achieved, a leader, success, or whatever you want to call it. But you will always deserve the styrofoam. Remember that. Remember that lesson of humility and gratitude. You can accept all the reasons. You can accept all the perks. Absolutely, you can enjoy them. Just be grateful for them and know that they're not for you. I remember getting off the Acela. I took the Acela from New York to Washington, D.C. I got off the train like everybody else. And I was walking down the platform like everyone else. And I walked past General Morty Schwartz, who used to be the chief of staff of the United States Air Force, the head of the Air Force. And here I did see a guy in a suit, 
schlepping his own suitcase down the platform just like me. And just a couple months ago, he was flying on private jets made an entourage of people carrying his night luggage. But he no longer held the position, and so now he got to drag his own suitcase. He never did it, so remind me more that none of us deserve the purpose that we get Leaders only have one thing, they have followers. A follower, somebody who raises their hand and volunteers to know where you're going. They raise their hand and volunteer to go in the direction that 